Hello, 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 lads, lads, and lassies. My name's Josh, and we are back with more Dr. Stone. Last week, we did two episodes at once. It was just too good. It wasn't even that much of a cliffhanger, to be honest. It was kind of just like, all right, this episode's going to end with us potentially going spelunking. Next episode, we go spelunking. I was like, you know what? I kind of just want to see what the next episode's about. So we watched two episodes in a row. Will we do the same for this one? This is the penultimate episode of season one. Next episode is the finale, depending on if it's that frustrating of a cliffhanger, or if maybe there's not too much to talk about this episode, we might go into next episode in this one. We'll see. I mean, you know by the title of this video, I'm not sure, but we are still on the road to making a cell phone. We took a little break though. Gen made, uh, Gen made a very nice birthday present and it was a telescope and it was beautiful it actually made me kind of like not tear up but it made me really emotional it was really nice to see this whole village teaming together to make a beautiful birthday present for senku and yeah we went spelunking we got some material we got some tungsten for the phone and now we can make these vacuum light bulbs but the last episode was a very much a big step in Magma's character development. He's no longer this spiteful man that hates Senku and brains. I mean, he's still a brawn man, but he's so much more interested in what the the wonders of what science can make. And it was really awesome to see him develop that way in last episode. He's not just a one-dimensional character. He's actually growing into a very well developed, like very well fleshed out character, which I wasn't really expecting from him. So, I just want to get into these episodes. I don't know if I'm going to watch two at once or just one. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's let's just go right into it. <gasps> the sun's coming up really soon. You guys. <laughs> Careful not to look at. Yeah, don't look at the, the sun through the telescope. Mm -mm. If those are the right type of stones, they should start to glow. Yeah, there they go. Because it is a mountain of jewels. <laughs> and this treasure ah, I love seeing the wonder in everyone's faces. Inside. There's just something uh, about it. Call them whatever you want. They're weapons. They've got enough weight to them to really hurt somebody. Ooh, <laughs> really, any rock is kind of like that. The older generation doesn't understand something. <laughs> the vacuum tube's the heart of the cell phone. The plastics, the skeleton. The microphone, the vocal cord, and the gold wires, the veins. All we gotta do is put those four parts together. We'll Do they have a microphone? A now it's they almost have the vacuum seal. To the end. They need the chip. I, the chip is what baffles me the most of how they're going to do it. Heat metal in the no Why is Godzilla there? This blue light. What the hell are you doing? Are you crazy? Uh, we're getting the stuff out of these rocks, man. If we smash them up first, it'll be easy. That totally works for me. We'll be turning it into oh, well, all right, let's go. You guys hear that? What I tell you? <gasps> but you he did it without that. instruction. If you were wrong, you'd have to go through all that trouble again. He's already this out. Is strange. This isn't like him at all. I've never actually seen him offer to help before. Did something happen down in Ah, uh, he's invested. Sam, I love it. I don't care if you're in charge anymore. It never does me any good to ask questions about it. Then we're gonna treat the Why is Godzilla the here? Warming it up in a glass container to get rid of any rust. I can handle all of the toothpaste making chemistry stuff. Wait, then who's gonna figure out the pinpoint heating mechanism? We that have would be scientist. you two. Come on. You know everything you need. He trusts, he knows that he can do it. All the ah, I love that Senku you just trusts him to do it. <laughs> Or do you need Professor Senku to come and hold your hand? I love that so much. Kidding with that, don't make me laugh. I'm Chrome, you know. Professor and Chrome. I'm than hell. Since I was a boy, I've always loved making things. Uh, I never had anyone. My time. Did he? You didn't have anyone to share that hobby stuff, with, huh? Like shields and bridges. Seeing you two working together like this. Oh man! How much I'd like to have a crafting buddy of my own. I hope you find that buddy, man. You're not building things on your own anymore, are you? You've got crafting buddies. Hold on, I do. Who's that? <laughs> Us two. Aww. 
Why should age matter at all? Who cares? <gasps> oh. oh my god. My heart. <laughs> oh. Give him a hug. Yes! What the hell? He's been rejuvenated! Hydrochloric acid and ammonia to crystallize it, then bake it and mix with honey. <laughs> yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, okay. And I am reading you loud and clear, Professor Senku. I'm using honey. Bake it and add I'm some using honey. honey. That's about the gist of it, that right? <laughs> Chrome would be 10 billion times more helpful right now. What? Look, this has got to be the perfect tool for precision heating. Ha! Chrome is A pulling out the gigantic magnifying glass. Okay. Off. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Oh man, we're gonna need more than just me and Suika. But at least the lead's starting to melt down. Awesome! There goes the gold and silver too. Yeah, <laughs> way to go, battle team! Iron is down. Yeah, gorilla team! Gorilla team! But the hotter we make it, the stronger the tungsten will turn out. It's also gotta stay consistent at a thousand degrees. Electricity! Oh my god! What's with the Jumbo Deluxe combo set? Come on, Senku. I'm doing exactly what you told me. Using every trick I've learned. I didn't mean to go this far. He used everything. What is a tungsten Godzilla, man? That's half the episode. <gasps> the microchip. It's gonna take some pretty complicated glasswork. Ah. Uh, sure that you're up to it, old. Oh, uh, you don't know who you're oh, talking to. Give me some credit. <laughs> this device is known as a Hickman pump. Huh? It sucks air like you wouldn't believe. The How big is this phone gonna be? Like a level one prototype. But it was only the insanely talented super craftsman guys. I know you're good, Kasaki, but this is a different era altogether, so you shouldn't feel too bad. Ah, uh, the Memphis that work. Is that true? Let him think. Let him burst his clothes off. It's fine. It's the complicated stuff that gets me fired up anyway. But Boom. in exchange, a favor. That thing you did with Crow. I need more clothes. I really want you to do it with me too. You know, seeing as the two of us are buddies. He wants him to give him uh, his believing speech. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. The handshake. The hand slap. Watch me. I get it now. So is there something we kids could do? Aww. Yeah. There is, actually. You guys can handle the wire. Yay! <laughs> Get over here again! Oh, You're he's getting... Me. You got me so fired up earlier, I've got no choice but to work you to death! Not your <laughs> face! It's either you're working on the chemistry team or the crafting team. I think I would rather take the crafting team, to be honest. Pour that over some hot copper, and then... Hold on a second, Senku! I'm already completely lost! Dude, I've been lost. Some liquid? After that process, we're left with this stuff called formalin. You can preserve corpses with it. That stinks! And what's the deal with you pulling okay. out these creepy why? chemicals all the time? Why are you looking like that? Why, why are you looking so evil, Senku? You acquire is a ton of coal ash. So I don't really have the time to take this on, too! Kino, oh, you're gonna go get the coal. The rules are the rules. Let me go! Kinru, what are you doing, man? Like, what, are, what? Why are you here, man? <laughs> we should make a nice hot meal for everybody. Oh, Senku, you're such a sweetheart. We have the time since the work's going faster, but our little village is slowly becoming a much better place to live. That's true. That's how science works. It's just as simple as that. Senku, you are such a sweetheart, man. I must say, <sighs> you ended up being just the man we needed to lead our village into the future. Ah, I love that. What? My sister was literally just talking about this. She's asked, she asked me if I got to Gen's musical scene. We'll need 800 at the least. Are you crazy? 
He's only made three. I can lend a hand. You throw in a party or what? Nah. Sure. Some microphones. They're the vocal. Okay, so the microphones are being made. Are we gonna get the cell phone yeah. in this episode? More precisely, and they turn sound into electricity. Really? You tack one of these onto something lightweight, like a plastic megaphone, for example, and you've got yourself a microphone. I'm really interested in how this. What? That confused me. Uh, I'm glad we get to hear the first OP again. Uh... Yes, old man, he did it! I believed! Kinro. <laughs> Whoa, 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 we'll go back to the microchip. What, let me see the microchip level. It's the birth of the cell phone. Oh yeah! Senku's phone. This is like 19... So 1970s, 1980s phone, man. We were able to pull this thing off before spring came. What the heck? So get ready, everyone. Ah, uh, look at his A-team. And of course. Oh, I'm excited, Senku! Oh, and that's the end of the episode! I felt like that was the finale. Man, I'm so conflicted, but I think I'm just gonna do this episode and then go back, go on to the next episode for next week. But, oh my god. I'm surprised that we made the cell phone over. I mean, like, we have to test it, I guess. I mean, next episode's called Voices Over Infinite Distance, so I guess that's what the last episode's gonna be. We're gonna be testing the cell phone. But, man. Man, this show is so good. All the characters, I love them so much. There's a uh, two characters. Actually, I guess no, two characters that really got to shine in this episode. It's Professor Chrome. I love that Chrome has his doubts about himself. They're not like, oh, I can't do this, or like, I'm too weak, I'm not smart enough. It's just. Whoa, 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 wait, what do you mean, Senku? I, you're gonna leave, like, you're gonna do the chemistry stuff, who's gonna make this? Like, we only have one scientist, and Senku just looks at him like, What are you talking about? Just, Chrome gets, Chrome gets that Senku believes in him. And that's all he needed. He didn't go like, I'm not smart enough for this, or are you sure? He's like, no. As soon as Chrome understood that Senku entrusted this job to him, that Senku knew that he'd be finding a way to do it, Chrome was just... So he's like, alright, I got it. Yeah, let's go, Senku. Alright, you handle the chemistry stuff. Don't ask me, because I'm going to be doing this. <sighs> oh, I love these characters. When we started this series, I did not think Taiju would be thrown to the wind. Like, I love Taiju. But man, he's just gone. Thrown to the wind. And we got some... Some great new characters. Some characters are, but I was so not concerned, but I guess I, I wasn't sure how I was going to react to um, having a whole new cast only six episodes in. Like Taijun, uh, Yuzumiha, I was like, oh yeah, I like these guys. I like their chemistry with, uh, with Senku. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about new characters. And then these new characters are the best characters of the series. And I love them so much. These are such great, this is such a great show. Oh my god. Professor Chrome. Is love, I love that he doesn't have a, a confidence issue. It's like, well, as soon as he knows Senku believes in him, he's on it. And then old man, and the old man crafting. That old man. I love old people in anime. I love old people in general. But that, him whole being, not a super outsider, but... I've always loved crafting, but I'm seeing you two, you make me jealous. Wanting that connection, wanting to have someone, that crafting buddy when he was growing up. And even, he still didn't think that they were buddies until they told him, like, what are you talking about? You got us. And he's like, what? No. Even though I'm way too old and the girl was like, that doesn't matter. Age is just a number. A defense that only works in certain cases, like this one. I just love the old man crying, getting emotional. Dang, that's such a good scene. 
He finally has his crafting buddies. People that share his love for the craft. Granted, Chrome can't craft. Not No one can really craft like him. But the fact that he has someone that's there, excited to be with him, and wanting to have him craft, wanting to be there while he crafts, speaks so much for him. I just... They need to start training an apprentice for him. Like, I, I don't like to say it, but he's very old. They need to start training, because once he's gone, they're not going to have anyone to craft. He needs an apprentice. He needs someone that has that fire in them, that passion. And he seems to be the only one. <sighs> Such a great scene. That old man, that old man Kosaki. He might be one of my he might be one of my favorite characters of the show. I love him. I really do love him. And then another older person, the dad, the ex chief, just believing in Sentinel Q, just going. Uh, turns out you were the right man to lead this village. You were the right man to become chief. After he installed all those chimneys, Senku, you big softy. He saw that Suika was getting cold. He saw that everyone was getting cold and everyone was getting worried. Like, oh, um, I'm afraid someone's gonna die. This winter's so harsh. And he saw that. And he was like, well, I mean, I just need the ashes from these chimneys. But go, you can go ahead and be in the warmth of them if you want. Ugh, you big old Sundere. Magma and Senku, the biggest Sundares of the show. I love that Senku just has such trouble expressing his emotions. Like, he doesn't want... He has trouble, like, expressing, like, yeah, I built this for you. And he, like, he needs to mask it with, this is something that I need, but you can enjoy it. You can reap the benefits of. Same thing with the telescope. Like, I don't know what to say here. And he even admits, like, I am not the most sentimental person. And, like, with the telescope... He just had to find a way, like, oh, we can see, you can use this to spy on, uh, or to like, have a further look on, on Tsukasa. We can spy on him with this, or we can see further with this. Instead of, like, letting it be something for him. He just, he needs to find the practicality in something, and I love that he has trouble admitting those feelings, even though he does have those feelings. That big old softy. That was such a good... There's so many great scenes within this episode. And I noticed the micro mid-credits, which is um, the mid-credits of this episode were um, the microchip. And I'm really curious, now Now that I noticed that, how many other mid-credits did I miss? Like, this one was super obvious, but like the mid-credits of like the last episode, or like the ramen episode, was that a ramen bowl? I, did, I can't remember, I mean, I'm going to find out when I'm editing these. But how many other mid-credits have been personalized and specialized? for uh, the episode theme that they're doing. I don't know, I just thought that was really funny to see. I was not expecting that. The Gen musical was something hilariously timed because uh, between episodes 22 and 23, I went to go eat breakfast and I ran into my sister. My sister has watched all of Dr. Stone. Um, she heard I was gonna watch it, so she watched it and she binged and finished it way before I did. But uh, she asked, uh, what episode are you? I'm like, 23. And she goes, did you watch the Gen musical yet? I was like, no. And she's like, oh. <laughs> and then that happened. It was so good. The auto-tune was so bad. It was so funny, man. Man, I had a whole musical about building batteries. It was easy. But boy, was it going to be repetitive work. 800 of those. It's a really good thing Ruri, Kinro, and Kinro, Kinro ended up Helping, because man, he would have been there forever. We would be in spring and he'd still be making those. <sighs> such a great, great episode. Filled with such awesome character moments. We made plastic. We made the phone. The phone is the big one. I, don't we have to make another one? I'm not sure. I guess that's what the next episode is going to be about. Um, how they're going to use this in the war. What they're planning to do with it. But I feel like they need to make... Another one, no? Or are they making... Is that like the... Not the satellite. Is that like the signal that sends the messages? Because wouldn't... Uh, Taiju and... Suzumiha, they would need one, right? Like they need to build another one of those. Which, granted, they know how to build it now. So it's probably going to be a little bit easier to do that. But how are they going to get it... How are they going to get it to... 
to use me on Taiju, right? Because they have they are being watched very carefully right now. Both Senku's team and Taiju's team. Unless they bought the pink haired girl's allegiance. Did I write her name down? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, unless they bought her allegiance with the uh, like with the cotton candy, but I don't think they have. She was I mean she's there with Sukasa's elites. She's there with them. But like how much has she told them? Does she understand what they're doing? Because even Tsukasa understands the importance of um, of the phone, like the, getting the fast communication. He understands what the importance of that. So, like, how are they going to actually use this practice? I'm sure like this will be explained in the next episode because the finale. But how are they going to end up using this? I'm really interested because it does not look like a phone at all. It does not look like a phone at all. So I'm just, I'm really, I'm really cute. I mean, like, I'm glad it doesn't look like a phone because it would just be too ridiculous if they made a cell phone in this era. So I'm just, I'm, what did they just make? <laughs> I mean, it's probably like an eight, like an 1800s. Like, why don't they make a, what's the, I literally said it earlier, the, like you just click it a whole bunch of times and I know what it is called, but I forgot what it was. But I'm, I'm curious, because it sounds like it's going to be working like a phone. Like you say something in it, and then it travel, like your voice travels all the way somewhere else. Just curious to see what's gonna, how it's going to work. I love that the old man... It's just, I, I know, keep going back to the old man Kosuke. The old man Kosuke, when he's like, I can do it. I'm fired up enough. I don't need, I don't need your... Uh, I don't need your words of wisdom, or your, your, I don't need you to cheer me up or get me hyped up for this mentalist, but Shanku, can we, can we do that thing that you and Chrome did? And it's just the hand, you know, the hand, it's just the, the high five. It's not a handshake, it's like that epic high five. <sighs> Love that. He just wants to be a part of the boys. He wants to be a part of the group. Oh man, that little man has snuck his way into my heart. And then Suika did the same thing, like, can we do something as kids? And he's like, yeah. I love it so much. I love all these characters. Uh, man. Well, lads, I'm going to go watch the next episode. So if you want to see next week's reaction, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. Because next week is the finale of Dr. Stone. Let's see how they use this tel telephone, cell phone thing. Let's see what happens. Will we get a speaking scene with Taiju and Yuzumiha? Will they have lines? Only the world will know. Only you know, actually, because you've probably already seen this episode. You've probably already seen the series. So, let me know down below. What do you think of this episode? Is Old Man Kosuke one of your favorite characters of the show? Let me all know down below. And if you want to see more of my solo reactions while you wait for next episode, you can check out my Gurren Lagan reactions, Kill the Kill of Darling and the Frongs, as well as Makai and I going through uh, Attack on Titan and My Hero Academia. It's a ton of stuff on the channel. I'm just so excited to get into the next episode. If you want to see my reaction to the next episode too, you can. If you want to see it early and probably all of season two by now, you can check out our Patreon down below. Links to all of that for early access and full length for everything that we do. I'll see you lads next week for the finale of Dr. Stone Season 1.